Hey, how it's going guys? In this video, we are going to see a lead research agents tool. This is a multi-agent solution that will help you find your ICP, ideal customer profile. If you are someone who has been working in the marketing industry, right, or even in the, you know, pre-sales kind of a domain, right, in your sales team, these are some of the tools that will help you and uh, find out your, you know, ICP or find out some leads, generate leads and also score them. And not only that, you know, this solution, uh, which is powered by multiple agents. Okay. And this is completely based on code. So we have used uh, agentic framework to build this, you know, uh, agentic uh, AI agent solution. There's a difference between AI agents and agentic AI. So uh, please keep, a, keep that in mind. Uh, in future videos, we're going to use N810 to build a similar tool without writing code. And this is powered by code. Uh, so let's imagine you have built a, a tool or you have built a product at your startup or you have something in your company and I want to generate your ideal customer profile. You know, you can use this to let me show you how, right? So if you look at here on my screen, I have, you know, uh, this particular uh, this this uh, tool here is just a streamlit application. Now on this streamlit application, you can see we have about here in the left hand side. This interface is basically built using a streamlit, a Python library. It says this tool helps sales representatives generate detailed lead research reports. Simply enter your ICP description and let our AI agents do the rest. And then this is what I have built. Let's say this is my product. You know, uh, current product information is very important to find out lead research. Even you can talk about your company services. Not it has, it does not have to be a, a product in general. It can be about your services, any kind of offerings that you provide, and you want to find out some leads. You know, on, uh, for those services. Now here you can see product name, product description. It's a recruitment platform that automates candidates sourcing, screening, and matching to job requirements, starting at this price, main features, blah blah blah. Now I have, of course, I already have read the result, but I'll show you. Now you can see here we have Braxley Band's lead report, you know, the, and I have set the number of leads I want just to save some token cost. But yeah, you can generate any number of leads you want. You just have to uh, configure your agents in that way. Now here you can see Braxley Band's lead report. Lead score 75 out of 100, which is high potential lead. It gives you the rationale behind, you know, this this uh, brand or this company, Braxley Bands demonstrates strong growth indicators, a clear brand identity and a commitment to sustainability, right? A small founding team and missing carrier pay suggest they may be a smaller company, but their high customer count and media mentions indicate significant traction. It gives you the size of the company. It's a SMB, small to medium sized business. Uh, you can see they have, uh, they have over uh, 150,000 happy customers. Revenue is not possible to determine, but the customer base suggests healthy revenue. You can see the technology stack. They have an e-commerce platform, uh, Shopify, WooCommerce, or similar to manage their online store. Uh, social media marketing tools actively using Instagram and TikTok, indicating the use of social media management and analytics tools. Email marketing platform, it gives you some likely and some deterministic things. Integrates with the payment, gate, pay, payment gateway. And of course, you just Google Analytics. Growth analysis have something here, positive growth signals, potential growth opportunities, right? Basically, not only just give you the name of the company, but it basically creates an entire research, just like how Deep Research or Notebook LM or any other such tools does, uh, you know, once you ask them to do it. So this is what I wanted to do it, you know, by myself, right? And you can see potential growth opportunities, some of the opportunity assessment, what are the AI or option potential? So, because this company, if they're not working in the field of AI, they have to adopt to that, right? And social media analysis. We also, uh, we also, you know, getting their social media presence. So find out the Twitter. So you can see the Twitter, you know, recent post mention includes the official Twitter account and review from Mac rumors. You can see sentiment is neutral. Further analysis of the Mac rumors review is needed to gauge specific sentiment. Buying signal insufficient data. Social engagement score is low. Maybe you can then submit something in the social increasing the NPS or increasing the social uh, media presence or something. You can find out the key co contexts. Now you can find out not all of them are true. Most of them are true. Right? Some of them it also hallucinates. It just gives you something. But yeah, LinkedIn is correct. I have checked it. Uh, no specific data for it. And then we have persona based outreach uh, as well. And this is also available in the markdown format, the same output, you know, output that you see. So this is what it is. 
Now this is one thing. Let's say you want to download this. You can also download this report in the HTML. You can find out the HTML report preview. This is the markdown preview with the very good looking output. That's what we have here. You have copy to clipboard thing. You can also do that. Now let's say I refresh this page. I want to show you how it looks like once you come here. Now you can see this is how it will look like. I already have ran it earlier. I was showing you the output, but let's say you want to give your own product details or you want to give your lead research setup. This is how it will look like. So on the lead research setup, you have to give your uh, ideal customer profile because you are doing a customer profiling, right? Or lead, leads profiling to find out your top leads that will definitely get converted. Uh, not only just going and searching on the internet, right? You can see what we are, what we're writing here. We are saying direct to consumer or direct to customer startups using Shopify. Target companies should be small to medium using Shopify located in Asia Pacific in the direct to consumer space. So this is my uh, ideal customer profile. Now for this particular product, which is talent match AI, I want to find out some leads. And the moment you click on generate lead research, you can see it, it's a very good intuitive UI. You can see it says running lead research. So it had different stages that it has to go and then it creates a report. So very good looking minimal UI to also you know, directly take you to your customer and show some demos, right? How do we build it, right? Let me show you. But before that, I already have a standard operating procedure that's called SOP. Let's say you want some consulting or blueprint around these kind of agents in your enterprise. You can just shoot me an email or you can reach out to me. Now here we, if you look at here an enterprise lead generation research tool, we have a very detailed SOP. Now in this SOP, we have purpose and scope. It talks about the very good SOP document that you can directly take you to your team. You know, if you want to work on similar stuff, we have architecture diagrams, data retention policy, you know, compliance stuff, incident response plan, and so on and so forth, right? Roles and responsibilities, you know, the entire spectrum for, for such kind of projects or tools. You know, so we can see sales representative, orchestrator, blah, blah, blah. Preconditions, what are the things that you need to build or run these kind of tools? So you can see the ENV contains some keys that you probably need it, some CRM credentials like HubSpot and Apollo and so on and so forth. Brave API key or Surper Dev, Surp API, Tableye or Bing to search open internet and any kind of models that you need, language models, AI models and whatnot. And I talked about Apollo and Clearbit and stuff. What kind of inputs and triggers? So sales rep clicks generate lead research in the UI, give the ICPs and optional inputs like geographics location. Let's say you want only Middle East, you want uh, North America, you want Latin America. So you can give those information, the geographies information. Product info, you know, you can override those information batch size. Let's say you want 50 leads, you can just give those numbers. I have a high level flow. We, this is a mermaid chart that we, I don't have here, but this code is there. You can take it very detailed procedure, you know, how the framework is started, what kind of agents we are using. You can find out everything. How are we doing the error handling, edge case metrics, metrics, output specification? How does the output look like? Different integrations, prompt engineering standard, right? Security and compliance controls, monitoring. Why well, I'm showing you the checklist and policy that is a very important. See, anybody can build a wipe coding tool, guys, or an or an you know a simple proof of concept. But when you are taking agentic solution or agent solution to an enterprise, which are like you know, big organizations, you know, it doesn't work like that. You just show a Streamlit app or a Gradio app or a simple React application, and you say that's a startup idea. It's it doesn't work like that, to be honest. It doesn't scale. You can you'll be still able to you know, get investments, make money, but it will not scale in future. So SOPs are really important for whatever you are building. Governance is really important, you know, on, on that. If we talk about that uh, uh, scaling AI solution. So this is the SOPs. Now I'll show you how you can build it. This Here is a code. And of course, let me know the code will be available. You can see uh, it's a big project. I have a lot of agents that I have created. You can see uh, base agent. I'm using right now crew AI, but doesn't matter. You can use any framework. They are just here and there. Some are better. Some have their own pros and cons. No one can say that I am better than yours. Uh, it doesn't, I, I, this, it doesn't buy to me, to be honest. Okay. It, most of the frameworks are copied of each other, right? So I'm not going to take their name, but I have a contact discovery agent. I have a context collector agent. I have an email writer agent. These are all different agents, you know, uh, that uses different tools, you have different personas, you know, had different types of prompt templates and so on and so forth. I have lead discovery agent, I have insights agent. You can see persona matching agent is there. You can see report generator agent is there. You can see social listening agent. 
because what we are also doing, also using Twitter, LinkedIn, you know, their developer API keys and so on and so forth to kind of fetch real time information to make it a, you know, a good kind of a lead research tool. I have web crawler agent. You can see different web crawlers. We are using different things. We are using Firecrawl. We are using Brave, so on and so forth. So a lot of agents. It's a multi-agent solution. So multiple agents are working. You know, with each other. We have different tools. You can see search tools. You know, you can see Brave search tool. We have social tools. You know, we have social uh, thingy as well. You know, and then we have crew.py where we have our entire crew orchestration. You need an orchestration framework to orchestrate where agents can talk to each other. They can access tools. They can leverage prompt templates. They can leverage guardrails and whatnot, right? So this is what the crew.py. So very modular repository. You can see we in the source folder, we have our agents and then we have our tools. And then this is the orchestration thingy. And in app.py where we use just a very simple some markdown formatting for stimulate and then we just call those orchestration handling some session state here you can see the other session state that we are handling right and the functions for file operations and this just using it over here in our streamlit application guys here is the sop which is available the same sop i was showing you know i'm getting all the logs logs not are being saved here you can probably use the folder which is really modular right to convert the code a little bit to add logs as well or you can use any other tools of tools like agent ops or you know any other tools that you want to use discard or are easy or whatnot now i'm using uv to run this project so you can see it looks really good and all the results are saved here you know all the results in html and md uh, and you can stream these results wherever you want to stream on any such any kind of dashboards so this is what you know, i wanted to show you in this video of uh, multi-agent solution for lead generation you know that you can see uh, Braxley bands, blah, 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 buyer persona. You can see the personas, you know, it also gives you outreach, outreach strategies as well. What kind of email you have to write. See the email to Brax Braxton Manly. You can see different variants of email. So you don't have to use any other separate service for, you know, getting uh, personalized outreach messages. You know, you can use this email variants. Let's say you know that, okay, this is the guy I have to reach out. Okay. And I have to write a linkedin message or i want to write an email messages you can use this to write it you can see it over here right it says braxton uh, congrats on braxley bands growth talent match ai helps companies like your scale efficiently with ai power talent acquisition interested in learning more or something like this and there are other ceos also this time we have jack manley as well you know so you can get all of these things here guys right this is fantastic so very intuitive tool lead research identic tool build completely with code uh, no code solutions are coming also if you are someone who wants to work with a no code solution that solution will always i will also show it how we can use it through uh, n at n uh, building multi-agent solution and running it locally self-hosting n at n not using n at n cloud by paying 25 dollars or whatever you know so running it there is always a workaround guys let's say you know you are not able to send gmail or you are not able to send email through to your gmail or through gmail there's a way to use it locally as, as well, right? You can use recent services, a recent service uh, where you can use that as an HTTP request and configure it in a way that you can also send emails locally uh, through self-hosted n container. containers. So what I'm trying to say is that try to reduce the cost because sometimes this might be a lot of burn, you know, on using AI tools and AI services. So uh, you have to kind of get the right uh you know suggestions from people who have built it let me know if you need this tool happy to uh, sip the code uh happy to help you in any capacity uh if you have any comments feedbacks let me know in the comment box uh you can also reach out to me through my social media channels find those information on channel banner and channel about us if you like the video please hit the like icon if you haven't subscribed the channel yet please do subscribe the channel guys that motivates me to create more such videos in your future that's all for this video. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next one.